Good morning, everybody. We're bouncing on a ball today. Somebody isn't very happy, so we're doing some bouncing. Um, today's Rachel's birthday, and so um, hopefully I'm gonna see her soon, and we're gonna go to dinner, and then I'm doing an escape room with Joey tonight, which I'm so excited about. But somebody pooped on the bed twice today. Literally twice. So in the mornings, he comes in our room, into our bed, and he cuddles from like six until whenever he decides he wants to not cuddle anymore. And this morning he came in at six and we were cuddling and he was eating and then he pooped and it got all over the bed and I was like, cool. So I got out of the bed, I was like, okay, I'm gonna clean that up a little bit later because I was dealing with this little monster. And we played for a couple hours downstairs and then it was time for a nap. So I came upstairs, y'all are gonna judge me for this, but whatever, I don't care. Um, I didn't have time to wash the sheets um, in between the, his two naps, it was a couple hours later. I go in, I lay down on the other side of the bed where there's not poop squirts, and I feed him, he falls asleep, and I was like, frig, he fell asleep, so I don't wanna wake him up. So he slept there, and he pooped, and he pooped on the other side of the bed! Yes, you did! You poop monster! So we need to get new diapers, because the diapers we have are not doing the trick. So that's on my list today of things to do, is to get new diapers, to get balloons for Rachel, to finish editing my freaking video, to make a Miranda video, I doubt that will happen. Ah! And my eye's still twitching. Ugh, I've had a twitchy eye for a whole week. Ah! I know, it sucks, ah! it sucks. So that's the plan for the day. Let's see what I get done. But the sheets are now in the wash, so don't come for me. Yes, there was poop on my sheets for a couple hours. But I was busy dealing with this monster. I love you. Hello, y'all. I am headed to the store to try to get stuff for Rachel's birthday. I usually am like a maniac about birthdays and get like a thousand billion cool things for my close friends and family on their birthdays. Haven't had time to do that this year and I'm really disappointed in myself. So I have a little bit of time to run out and try to find something for Rachel. I got her a good present yesterday, I think. I got her a really, really nice backpack. She said she wanted a backpack, so I got a really fancy one. And um, I wanted to get her like a few other fun little things. So I'm gonna try to go get that done right now. I think any breastfeeding mom can relate to this. <laughs> Not my burp, but um, maybe can relate to that too. The feeling of like you're not trapped, trapped isn't the right word because I don't feel trapped. I feel like stoked, like I love being a mom and I love being a breastfeeding mom. Um, <clears throat> but feeling like there's like just a small window of time where you can do things. He eats every two hours, so I feed him and it's not like two hours from when he finishes eating, it's two hours from when he starts eating. And then it takes 30 minutes for him to eat. Then an hour and a half later I have to feed him, feed him again. So it's just like there's, for the first big chunk of the baby's life, if you're a breastfeeding mom, you're constantly having to give him a, your body, you know, like give him a part of your body to eat from. So you can't leave him for a long period of time. You can't be away from him. So it's just like this like panicky, like, oh my God, like I'm running to the store and I know I only have like 30 minutes before I need to head back home. Anyway, blah, 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 boring. But I'm just curious if other moms out there can relate to that feeling of like, just I would love, I just, I don't even remember what it's like to be out of the house without my baby for a few hours. Like that doesn't exist unless I have milk for him at home, which even when I pumped milk and like had a date night with Eric, the whole time I panicked that like after he eats the milk that I've pumped, then he's gonna be starving again and be hungry. It's just like this panicky, I don't know. Anyway, right now I'm spazzing because I'm talking and I should be going into the store. So I'm gonna go into the store. I'll talk to you later. guys. This is great success. I found a couple like silly gifts for Rachel and I also got a bunch of balloons, like big cool balloons. So I can give her the balloons today, but her birthday party is not today. So I'm gonna give her her little fun presents on her birthday and then her big present, the backpack today. So I'm waiting for them to blow up the balloons and I have like 20 more minutes before I need to be home. So I'm gonna go across the street to Marshall's and see if Marshall's says anything. I love Marshall's. Girl, I'm a thrifty shopper, like y'all, you see these YouTubers like buying Gucci and Louis Vuitton and Chanel and I'm like, what up Ross? <laughs> I'm like, what up used car sale? <laughs> um, I just can't shake that. Like, yes, I have splurged a couple of times and bought like big things like I bought my house. Um, every once in a while I'll like spend like a good amount of money on like a friend or family member. Um, but for the most part, my family loves thrifty shopping. I didn't grow up with money. Girl, 
I love me some Marshalls, I love me some Ross, I love me some Forever 21. Like Target to me is expensive. That's how I live my life, okay? So I'm gonna go to Marshalls and see if I can find any like cozy pajama pants or something like that. Okay, bye. Okay, change of plans. <laughs> I don't have time to go to Marshalls now because I got a bunch of balloons and it took them forever to blow them up. So now I just have to go home. Boo. I was so excited. I thought I was gonna be able to go to two stores in one outing. Didn't happen. Okay, well, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna edit and feed the baby and then I'm going to dinner with Rachel for her birthday and then escape room with Joey, Graceffina, Fisica. Very excited. Okay, bye. What's up guys, it's the next day. I didn't vlog anymore yesterday. I went to Rachel's birthday dinner and we just hung out. I didn't film any of it and um, it was really fun. We went to a vegan restaurant and Rachel's vegan. I am not vegan, um, but I usually really like vegan food. I think it's pretty good. This place was interesting, wasn't it Daisy? And then uh, right after that I went to do an escape room with Joey and it was so fun. I've done a couple escape rooms before and I didn't like them. Like, I didn't think they were good. I was like, why do people like these things? They kind of suck. Joey was like, you'd love escape rooms. And I was like, I've tried it. I didn't really like it. And so he finally convinced me to go. And it was so freaking fun. Oh my gosh. I guess you just have to find the good ones. Because I've only been to like not good ones. But it was really fun. I love Joey so much. Like, I just have to say, I feel like I've talked about this before online, but like, Joey is truly like one of the best people I've met doing YouTube and like he's he's just the best like he's so sweet he's such a good friend he's so nice he's like so great to talk to he's just like a wonderful wonderful human and I just love him a lot it's hard to find like cool genuine people especially in LA but especially in this industry like I feel like YouTube used to be a place of like a strong community of like people when there wasn't that many people on YouTube and now YouTube is expanded and it's so big and there's a lot of people who like rose to fame really quickly and it doesn't feel like a community as much anymore it feels more like competitive and um, and so I don't like connect or bond really with a lot of the people on YouTube anymore and I just I do with Joey like he's one of the first people I ever collabed with he's one of the first people I met on YouTube and he has always just stayed a really wonderful friend and I just love him. Are we dating? Am I actually getting married to Joey Graceffa? Um, but <gasps> Look at my cat. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. She has a huge hairball dangling from her freaking chin. Look at this. Look at this. She is so gross. Daisy, ew, your eyes are leaking blood. This was dangling from her freaking mouth. You are foul. Cool dudes! Cool bros, ready to go. Um, I'm going to run a couple of errands. So exciting. Um, but Molly came over this morning and we filmed more video. Uh, more video? Oh, girl, you need sleep. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna get some food in my body and then I'll talk to you, goodbye. So Molly bought me ice cream today because she's so sweet. But in the ice cream bag, it was dry ice. And I'm gonna play with it. Don't do this at home, kids, it's very dangerous. Also, it's like midnight, and I didn't vlog at all. And why is Gus eating that? Gus is eating this, he thinks it's food. Let's play with dry ice. Okay, literally this is so dangerous. Dry ice, it's already smoking. <gasps> You're not supposed to put it in metal? Why is it vibrating? <laughs> Wait, do that again? Why does it do that? I didn't know it did that. You can't even see. You're the worst cameraman in the world. Oh, what? Why is this it? happening to me? Like? Okay, so should I pour water in it? Is that what happened in that new? Why is it exploding? Okay, wait. Can you film us really quick? You just called me the worst cameraman. I'm scared. What if I? I don't know that I was recording any of that. <laughs> 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 She's the one that ran away. I'm recording now, but I don't think I was recording before. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> when she did her whole. My vagina. <laughs> Pop it. I don't know how. <laughs> That's cool. That like smoke comes out of them. 